Hey, how are you? I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about some MLB DFS, Beasties Boomers, for Wednesday, May 25th. Before I bring in the study hub, before we go over the stacks tool, just make sure you go to the website, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, tell us how you're doing in your entries, and while you're there, you can use promo code Beastie. You'll get $10 off your first month of premium options. However, today, the MLB stacks are 100% free, so as I I I'm going along... I'd love for you to play along as we move through each tool and we go through that. Let's bring in the study hub. Let's bring in the stacks tool. And we are back. And as you can see here, we have the, the, the rise or fall MLB study hub in its full glory per usual. I have it brought to Miami, Tampa Bay, but I want to talk about my favorite stack of the evening. It's Philadelphia and Atlanta. Now, before we get into uh, all the nuts and bolts here, I do want to remind folks that there, there may be uh, a few rainouts here. Boston uh, is playing in Chicago today, as you can see here. There is a, could be a possible possible rain out or a delay there. And when we go down to the Chicago Cubs right next to it, playing in Cincinnati, also have it circled in red or raindrops, however you want to do it for another possible rain out or per certain percentage of rain. And we go from there. And I hate to do this to you, but even that Philadelphia playing in Atlanta, my favorite stack of the afternoon, Beasties Boomers, there is a 32% chance of rain in this one, going to be about 74 and hopefully slightly sunny uh, in Atlanta, but there's a 32% chance of rain in this one. The wind, uh, not re I, I mean, it, it depends on what what you call a factor 50 mile an hour winds that's an issue today uh, in Atlanta nine miles an hour coming from right field right behind the pitcher to like the the third base uh, you know visitors dugout here but again we have to plan ahead seven games on the main slate today locks at 640 so we have to pick and choose on DraftKings however if we click over here the DK main slate it's only five games and that one locks at 705 so uh, be careful here I have the Atlanta Braves is my favorite stack. We're going to go through that right now, but I have an alternative stack as well, which you can probably also find here uh, at the website in the cores. I'm one of the coaches. There are several other folks. Shout out to Dab and Puggle and even uh, and Pat, all these guys just putting in a ton of work here for everybody that's watching the video. So enough with the nonsense. Let's go to the FanDuel batter matchups, if you don't mind here briefly, and we're going to talk about the Philadelphia Phillies. They're playing in Atlanta here. Now, when we go through through it, you know, per usual, I'll do a couple on FanDuel, I'll do a couple on DraftKings and the stacks tool in between. And again, the last, you know, Monday and Tuesday, I didn't feel like myself, right? So we're getting through this stuff and I felt like a fool. I'm stuttering and stammering because I haven't felt good. And I'm working this out on the fly uh, for, for myself and for all of you here. So I appreciate all the patience uh, you're showing me as we work through this thing. So stacks tool, same thing you could see here. Look, how, this is just, this is beautiful. Gr lots of green and red like Christmas, but we want to concentrate on the green here. So again, we scroll down, you find Atlanta, my favorite stack of the uh, the evening here, and it's right here, as you can see, Atlanta, boom, across the board here. And I'm sure you already know this, but I'm going to not only leave the whole game slate up here so it, we can compare it to other teams and ownership percentages here, but I want to put into perspective uh, all the other teams and their value and their, their projection and their team sales salary here. So I, I, I've, I've gone on and on and on. Let's talk about Ronald Acuna Jr. As you can see, 4200 bucks on FanDuel, $5,800 on DraftKings. Granted, this kid's only played 17 games, but he's got 10 runs, 8 RBI, 2 bombs, and Ronald Acuna has stolen 8 bases already uh, in only 17 games. When you go along from here, you can see he's going to bat first in the order. I know, uh, you know, when you use the study hub, you might use something different. You might dig into Woba, ISO, BV, those are all my favorites here, but I keep it simple. This is only like a seven, eight minute video. I go for the meat and potato stuff. I look for dark green, FanDuel tier A, a FanDuel value tier is a B. You'll love to see that. And then when we get on DraftKings, let's click Philly and Atlanta per usual. Okunia is an A and an E or an F, however you want to put it. So to me, Ronald Okunia is, is a great play on FanDuel, not so much on DraftKings. And that's all well and good. Let's go down number two hitter, Matt Olson. 
left-handed bat, as you could see right here, Matt Olson. I need a, a highlighter or a, like a like a laser pen here. When you look at, at Matt Olson across here, FanDuel tier is a B, uh, FanDuel uh, value tier is a, a D, excuse me, and there, I, I believe it's Ranger Suarez is pitching tonight for Philadelphia. As we scroll over here, look at his ISO right here, 253, and right now, Matt Olson is batting 244 to lead the, the Braves uh, as a first baseman, and it's a team, he's got a team high, excuse me, 364 on base percentage, so you have Acuna at first, who so far has taken, I believe, uh, double-digit walks already, and he's stolen eight bases, so realistically, Matt Olson gets on base ahead of Ronald Acuna, and then it's only natural we go right into the third uh, portion of the stack here, and that is... As you can see, Riley Austin. I love this kid. Right-handed bat, three-four on Fanduel, four-five on DraftKings. Let's go over to the stacks tool here. We'll get we'll work in a little bit of everything as we go down. Yesterday, uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me look through my notes. I love the the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and they did as well. I believe they scored five runs. Everything was good. Jared Walsh was kind of my one-off in that stack, and he hit a bomb, had a couple RBI. So that's uh, nice and sweet to hear from. So as we scroll down, look at this Atlanta. The Atlanta Braves. They're projected for about 4.68 runs, and when you're a kid in school, that you just round up. So we're looking at about five runs in this one. I think that's a, a little bit on the low side. That's all well and good. Over under is about eight and a half runs. So uh, Philadelphia only has to carry what, like three runs here, three and a half, you know, if possible. But I think Atlanta scores uh, about seven runs in this one. And as we scroll over, here we go. And I also want to let you know that the FanDuel projection, so as a team, you know, at those four guys, Acuna, Austin, uh, Riley, uh, and then Matt, as I said, Matt Olson, Marcelo Zunia, and then Ozzy Albies, if one of these guys is not in the lineup this, this evening here, you're looking at about 91.68 total points in comparison to the Dodgers and, and the uh, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim again. But look at their, their team owner. Look at the Dodgers team ownership percentage, 10.18% Angels. Like Again, flying under the radar, not even at 5%. You're going to go, well, Chris, when you scroll down, you look at the Atlanta Braves, uh, their team ownership is only going to be at 3.46%. That's unbelievable to me. In a game where, or excuse me, in a slate where, you know, worst comes to worst, we get two rainouts. Boston and the White Sox rained out. Chicago at Cincinnati's rained out. Maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, there is not a delay in Philly and Atlanta. And this might drop a little bit e even lower here. So to me, Atlanta makes for a nice stack on a slate with some superstar uh, you know, talent here. The, the New York Yankees are playing. As you can see, the Dodgers, the Angels. So there, there's a lot of studs playing tonight. And Atlanta has always been, you know, they can hang runs. Their their price tags are cheap. They fly under the radar. Not They do not fly under the radar here. But to me, that stuck out like a sore thumb. Only 3.46% ownership percentage. And when we scroll over, let's uh, be mindful of where Atlanta is. You bring it over there. Their, their range of outcomes, 75 percent of that projection uh, it looks to be a, uh, just about uh you know 75 percent of the way it could happen 25 percent 15 percent range of outcomes and we know what that is winning scoring 10 runs whatever the, you know the, the numbers you crunch here one percent so they're they're basically 50 50 to do uh what they should do uh, on a on a projection basis which is just score all you got to do Atlanta uh, Braves all you got to do is score 4.68 eight runs and they're 50 50 to do that i like my chances there let's tie this thing up in a bow and get the heck out of here as i said ozuna is in the four spot he's taken nine bases on balls but he struck out 39 times not 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 crazy. I mean, that's what these guys do, as I say, uh, per usual. And when you look at Marcelo Zuna, he leads the team in home runs with eight and RBIs with 20. And when you go furthermore, the Braves will send Charlie Morton to the mound and uh, we're going to get the heck out of here. Let me bring in my face and up, as I said, and boom, there we go. I got to say it now, like an 80s horror movie. We'll scroll that out and here we are. Before I split, just make sure you go to the the, the website team riser fall like share and subscribe to this thing you can use promo code beastie she has no idea uh, i'm putting money in a savings account for her to spend it on whatever she wants here jokes aside thank you for being here and again be mindful of the weather in some of these games be mindful of the way you treat folks today it's a very somber day uh, after what happened in texas yesterday i know this is a dfs video it has nothing to do with religion or politics but i i'd be remiss if i didn't mention that we need 
need to, to, to keep going through life in a kinder way. We all are battling something the other person doesn't know about. I know that's an Oprah cliche, but it holds true here uh, today and going on uh, in the future. So be good. Thank you for being here. Make sure you go to the site. As I said, you can reach out to me on Twitter. You can find me in the Team Riser Fall Discord. And I'll see you again tomorrow for Thursday, May 26th. Be good, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.